Knowing that the motion is uniform circular motion provides a powerful tool for analyzing what's going on. Because when that happens, we know that the net force is always centripetal, always toward the center, and always has a magnitude of v squared over r. I'll give three examples here of problems that can be analyzed using uniform circular motion. Some of these problems may seem tricky at first glance, but using uniform circular motion and the other information that we know about forces, we can do a nice job with them. I'm not necessarily going to find the answer to the questions here, but I'll set them up and I'll explain how we can get started on solving them.